All right, Cole, what are you doing this time? Gary, if there's one thing that you know about me and everybody should know about me is my, uh, it is my uh, crippling reliance on inhalants. Oh, yeah. You love to sniff. Yeah. 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 yeah no, 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 not making light of it. Uh, but uh, this is the one thing that I have in common with, uh, with Charlie, with Charlie, Charlie Kelly. <laughs> We are making light of we it. We are making it's light okay. of it. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I think saying you're not making light of it doesn't make it not yeah, that's making true. light of it. Uh, we 100% are making light of it. Yeah. Um, but it's okay. I like inhalants because if I'm going to breathe anyway, <laughs> like it's, it, it speaks to my efficiency. It's like breathing too. Yeah. It is you like know, glue is breathing too. It's breath too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I've discovered that the easiest way to cover this up is with modeling glue. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, so cover this up. Are you are you blocking your nostrils? What do you mean? No, no. Just plausibly get a hold. If you're buying glue with the quantities at which I need it, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's weird how it goes bad. Yeah, like you just use it up. Yeah, the glue's still there, but I've done all the sniffing. Yeah, I'll just all the yeah. all, all the solvents and such. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, I just uh, have you seen the price of Gundams lately, Gary? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got you. I've had to get a little bit, uh, had to get a little bit uh, creative here. So I've got, uh, here are some, I'm just we're, we're looking through this, you know, some, some go bots. Um, sure. uh, here's power Rangers, Megazords. We're really digging at the Gundam bottom of the suffix. barrel. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I figured, you know, just, I've just got this big bag of model shit. I figured that we would, uh, I figured that we, you know, we, we could randomize off of this. So yeah. if you just want to grab a, grab a box out of Get this, uh, out of this crate, I mean, obviously take some All glue. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. I got to grab the box out of the crate. Uh-huh. Uh, let me uh, open this up here. Uh, Fasili. Fasili. Fasili, I think. Fasili. I don't know what this is. What? It doesn't sound like a mech. No. But if you open it up, it's a mech. It's a mech. It's got a mech in it. All right. Yeah. Well, well, that's. And also a game. That's a game. Uh, okay. A game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this game's actually good. This is actually pretty good. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. Welcome to Addict Suffering, where we ate all the gross Michelle bananas, so you don't have to. Yeah. This is what we're talking about, uh, Fazile. Uh, this is a backer demand by uh, VideoGames.Afghanistan. <laughs> Thank <laughs> One you. One of my favorite usernames. VideoGames.Afghanistan. Yeah. I didn't mean to make, I'm gonna, yeah, I didn't mean to make a joke. About, I don't know if people get addicted to, to Huff and Glue. I think it's just it, it's, a fun thing to do. Yeah. It, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. I don't know that I've met anyone who have to clue. Yeah. Like I need to work on my, I need to get a more diverse friend circle. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I'm going to draw a line in the sand right here. I'm not going to pronounce this the same way twice. Nope. Uh, I just don't think it will happen. I'm not going to do that on purpose. I, I, I did a, I, just, I, I did a search. I did a search for like what this word could be. The mm -hmm. search only pulls up this game and also, um, a German word, but I don't know that the German word is, uh, anything because the, like it, it, what the word means is like blather or drivel, like just it, meaningless, fr meaningless talk. Yeah. The dialogue in this game is no great shakes, but that feels like they wouldn't draw attention to that. It doesn't feel like a thing that you would actually like just uh, to put on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the exclamation point is really throwing me as well. Yeah. I respect it. Uh-huh. You know, I think more games should have an exclamation point. Uh-huh. In it. Like, let me let me do a little quick A-B test on you. Okay. All right, ready? Mr. Gimmick. Okay. Mr. Gimmick! Hey, here he is! Look at okay, him go! Ready? <laughs> No one can stop Mr. Domino. <sighs> no one can stop Mr. Domino. Hell yeah. Don't even try. Yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't even know if it does that. Yeah. Everything I know about sniffing glue, I know from it's always sunny. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I, you know, and I'm not going to lie. You, you learn a lot from that show. You do. 
you know, like I, I've learned a lot from that, but uh-huh. I, I just, I don't know. I need to check that source. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And Halens are popping off right now. Uh, specifically really? nitrous. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just a, 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 a <sighs> <laughs> right, look at him go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nitro huffing funny cars. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> nitro burning funny cars and nitro huffing yeah. funny men. Apparently, it's a huge problem. There's something. There's something called galaxy gas that uh, keeps on popping up in my uh, in my algorithms. Just people like taking poles off of this incredibly concentrated nitrous that's like marketed to kids. Uh, it fucking sucks. I don't like the marketed to kids part very yeah, much specifically. Yeah. I keep getting YouTube thumbnails that are like, this gas station crack is killing people and no one's talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff like that too. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. Uh, I was, I was at the, uh, the, at the gas station earlier today and, uh, you know, it's the, 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 the um, uh, impulse by stimulants aisle up near yes. the front. There was just something that very proudly, uh, it was a little, appeared to be a beverage that very proudly declared itself. Its name was tweak. Uh, yeah, that's, that's honest. I think, um, I think that, I think there might be some problems. It, it's interesting the way that the problems exist Yeah, in that, uh, I know about the problems and I, every once in a while we'll see evidence of the problems and stuff, uh-huh. but modern reality really does have us living in just different worlds. Uh huh. You know, I like, if I go through, if I'm not online, mm-hmm. um, you know, everyone I'd see tweak and I'd be like, haha, tweak, but I'm, I'm not. I think it's the thing that allows me to laugh at it's always sunny glue sniffing jokes. Yeah. And and make glue sniffing randomizations is just like I don't know. It doesn't come up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh. It's a huge privilege. I'm I'm you know, it's it's a it's a privilege I also choose not to sniff glue. Right. The, you know, there's some personal responsibility involved. Uh-huh. Don't want to, you know, entirely give myself no credit for not sniffing glue. Yeah. <laughs> uh but I also it just doesn't come up. It really, it really doesn't. Yeah. And like, yeah, I don't know. I hung with some dirt bags who huffed a lot of duster back in the day, but like it was never a, it was it was it was never the 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 direct um it was never like a, a destination kind of thing, right? Mm never knew anybody who was like dependent on it. It was just to make your head go wah, 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 wah for a little yeah. bit. Um, addiction is scary. Like addiction is. is fucked up and scary. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's one of those things that different worldness. I was talking to a friend, you know, and I was talking about, uh, how, uh, you know, so I'm lifelong insomniac. Like I have a lot of sleep problems. Yes. Um, and, uh, to kind of, while we were closing on the house, I was really sleeping extra poorly mm-hmm. and asked my doctor and I was like, Hey, in the short term, give me some sleep stuff. And my doctor, who I've mentioned before, is like tiny, like I could put him in an overhead compartment, uh-huh. stow him safely, <laughs> um, was like, well, I don't really like those. And I, I just wanted to be like, son, I don't care what you like. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you just get like, I'm, I'm not asking you for, you know, pure uncut Colombian cocaine. I'm asking you for like five sleeping pills. Yes. Um, so he eventually did it, uh, and he was like, oh, I'm not going to do this again, all this stuff. And I was like, this is undignified. Like I'm an adult. I should be able to just buy like a drug if I know how it works for me. Mm-hmm. And I was saying that in kind of a cranky voice and, and not, uh, really thinking about it. Okay. it through. And then, uh, you know, I was talking to my friend Zach, uh, on GTA and he's like, well, there's multiple epidemics right now that suggest that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is the that. last thing that should happen. Yeah, and, yeah. and then I realized what I meant. This is an immensely like privileged white guy ass shit thing to say. But what I had meant, and I'll, I'll cop to this, it's not great behavior, uh-huh. was that I should be able to do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, uh, I'm not one know, of them. Yeah. Come on. You know, and, and, it, and it's, I do think I would be, tr- I could be trusted with Ambien. Uh huh. You know, you know, to, to my point, but also like, yeah, but there's a lot of human suffering going on if that. Yeah, that it's probably, it's probably really good that there's not hot and cold running benzos, actually. Yeah. 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 It's probably, that's, how you, that's how you get Peterson's. Yeah. That's a, oh man, yeah. it's absolutely how you get some Peterson's. Yeah. No, yeah. I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of, rid- I, I, I do believe it's kind of ridiculous that I have to sign a piece of paper every six months to get my Xanax, yeah. you know, it, very silly, but also you know. I take a, I take a half of a, I, I take a quarter of a milligram, maybe once yeah. every like 10 days. So it's not yeah. like a, yeah, well, yeah. But you know, and there's no way for the doctor to know that. Yeah. Like I get it. It's just kind of a bummer. Yeah. Uh, this game is the kind of thing, this is a very classic abject suffering for me, uh, right game, wrong time. Yes. Kind of thing. If 
I had a Neo Geo Pocket Color, mm-hmm. you know, a, as a kid, and had come upon this around when it came out, I would have been like a pig in shit. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, this is sick. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the writing and stuff is stupid. Yes. Uh, I don't care for these characters. I don't like these anime tropes. Uh, of course I don't. Uh, mechanically, though, this is really neat. Gary, what if there was a young woman and she was much more hungry than you uh, expected her yeah. to be, given her, well, what if our, given her stature? Our hotshot pilot was sleeping. Hmm. And we had to wake him up. Yeah. Can uh, you imagine? And then, like, I don't, you know, all this shit that's not funny that... Yeah, has the cadence of being funny. It's awful. Yeah. So 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 yeah. I I was I felt exactly the same way. Like if I got a hold if I got a hold of this at like age like thirteen, I yeah. Oh, I would I would have like adored this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because this is a this is a tactical role playing game. Like you are in a you are in a mech that you can customize. You know, you can buy uh different uh different guns and stuff for it and whatever. Uh you're doing turn-based stuff on a grid, but with a system that I've not really seen before. Um like all of your movements and your attacks and your reloading, you have to program them in. Yeah. So you have five yeah. slots every turn. And you're selecting these chips for like move forward, turn left, turn right, back up, fire this weapon, fire that weapon. And when you enter all those in, everybody else goes through their five steps as well. Yes. So it's like a simultaneous action, action point based uh, tactical mm-hmm. game. This came out, you know, roughly around like front mission times, yeah. you know, if I believe it's 1999. Um, so like um, front, front mission out of Super Nintendo yeah. entry. So the, so Front Mission predates this. Yes. Um, but this is cooler than Front Mission. Mm-hmm. And Front Mission was cool. Yes. You know, I, I, this this is my jam mm-hmm. uh, in terms of how this plays. Like, I every word I don't want to read, mm-hmm. you know. And so when I eventually figure it out, and I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I would really like this. Um, there's not going to be a lot of things to make, make fun of. Yeah. You know, for after suffering reasons, I kind of hit the I get it button a little bit early, but not because I didn't think it was neat. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this this is fun to play, and I I dig this. Yeah. Um, and the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Oh god. You know yeah. what? What a cool like advanced little system for a, uh, you know, a, a, a handheld. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a shame we didn't get it. Honestly. Yeah. Like, uh, would have liked it as a as a little competitor to the Game Boy Color. You know, like it would have been outstripped by the Game Boy Advance pretty quickly, but still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we had uh Advance Wars and Fire Emblem. Yes. You know, which I, I don't think is as good. No. Like I think this is neater and more and more fun, has yeah. more robust tactics. Mm-hmm. And just the you know, the like the kind of Yomi that you have to play, which is like, okay, here's this enemy, you know, I've, they're facing the other way, so they're gonna have to use like, you know, three moves to, you know, to be a danger to me. Um can I can I get to a spot and will they still be within the range of my attacks when I get there? Well, I'm just kind of going to have yeah. to gamble about it. Simultaneous turn based, yeah, is really interesting. Yeah, um, you know, it sounds like a contradiction, but it's kind of not. Mm-hmm. Like everyone takes their turns at once. It's still definitely not real time. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's real neat. Yeah, this is a cool ass game. Yeah. Uh, that I have so little digressionary power over. <laughs> um, you were talking about that. Like I just like I know we talked about mechs a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, it flavor wise, I didn't get a whole lot more to this. No, it's just you know? a kind of a standard, like it's, it's kind of weird how after world war three, suddenly every, uh, every country has Kings and princes again. Yeah. Yeah. And every dot com has a metal gear. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's all metal yeah. gears. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't forget about all the dot coms getting the metal gears. Yeah. Uh, during that period. Yeah. But this is it's just it's just, you know, near future military stuff, which is fine, mm. but not a lot of not 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 a lot of stuff to hook on to. Um you don't get a lot of like sense for what kind of for like what kind of mechs these are, but this is the like the this reads to me because of the input method. Like this is more tank mechs than it is uh like jumping around nimble mechs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're the size of tanks. Yes. Like you, you in the first level, you just fight tanks. Yeah. You know, so you're also not necessarily like building size mechs either, mm-hmm. which for, for no reason that makes sense. Uh, I deserve all the criticism in the world if you want to give it to me for this. I much like, you know, a power armor mech. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, yes. Building size mech, get fucked. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, I, I don't care for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think it's it's silly to work on that scale. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is only vaguely related, and I don't think there's a whole lot of... Um, the aggressionary 
uh, kind of energy here, mm-hmm. but I had to tell somebody. Okay. Um, one of the rarest feelings of the world is half remembering a game and then finally finding out what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it kind of is related to this because I found the name, uh, and this is after searching for more than a decade. Okay. Uh, that is the first strategy game I ever played. Oh. Um, which is a game called Laser Squad. Laser Squad. Uh, which is the from the makers of XCOM before they made XCOM. I was trying to find this, but I used to always get uh, runoff PCs uh-huh. from Derek. So like Derek's family would upgrade. And he'd go get to like a 386 or a 486, and I'd get his old 386. Yeah. They had old PCs laying around. I'd get these in the early 90s. Um, I had this game on one of them, played it, loved it. I thought it was really cool. I knew it was a tactics game with destructible walls. Okay. It's like basically all I knew. Um, and I kept asking people, like, hey, what is this game? Does anyone know what this game is? And any the only thing anyone would ever say is XCOM. Right. I was like, no, I, you know, I played XCOM. Uh, but no, it's I was like, okay, it made me think I was thinking about the um God, the the Game Boy Advance game that is like XCOM mm-hmm. Junior, which is uh, which I have some affection for. I was like, did they make other XCOM likes before that? Yeah, and they did. Laser Squad. <laughs> yeah, Laser Squad. Uh, this looks Laser rad. Squad. Yeah, it was an old, it's great, uh, old uh, like uh, like uh, microcomputer, like Amiga Commodore uh, kind of thing. Yeah, it started on that. Eventually, got a PC port, um, and it's a tactics game. You know, like this with destructible environments. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and basically plays like XCOM. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I was playing it when I was like very young, um, you know, like twelve or thirteen. Nice uh, playing this. Yeah, that's the that's, yeah. A, that's the bug that bit you. That's why yeah. you are the way you are. It's one hundred percent. It's my origin. Yeah. This game killed Uncle Ben. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, um, yeah, huh? I'm very excited though. Like I'm, I got I might try to play it just as like a you know I'm sure it doesn't hold up. It's not as fun as XCOM. Mm-hmm. You know, but like, what a, what a blessing to have that feeling. Like, oh, yeah. oh, shit. That's what this is. I recognize that screenshot from when I was young. I ended up having to find, uh, or I found it in uh, EGA Graphics. Uh-huh. You know, and it's like, oh, that's exactly fucking it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like there's a VGA version of this, but that's none of my business. Right, right. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. it, 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 that, that, is a, that is a wonderful feeling. The... um yeah, I, I I really enjoy that when you can when you can get it. Like the most notable version of that that basically happened on air was um I had this game that I rented, you know, or really felt like my stepsister or something rented way back when I was a little kid that I thought was really fun. And it's like, oh, you're running around in a forest and you're you're grabbing keys and I put it out to everybody and nobody brought me the right one. And then we played Little Nemo uh for Watch Out for oh, Fireballs. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, this is totally it. Right. Cause like yeah. when you're, when you're a super little kid, you might not like, you might not know what, what game was rented if, you know, especially if you're not able to read yet, which this had to have been the case. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, and, a, it's and running around a forest grabbing keys is very, that could be a lot of things. Oh, it's so many things. You know, but when you're a kid, you don't know what, that's the thing that stood out to you. And you have kind of a sense memory feeling image mm-hmm. of it that is impossible to further articulate. Yeah. My yeah. first strategy game, it was, it was also a rental, um, you know, but I didn't have a really access to PC for gaming at uh, this time, really, um, was a game called Power Monger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a, heard of that Power Monger. It's a bullfrog game um, that had a Genesis version, had a Genesis and an SNES version. Um, and had no idea. It was one of those things. I'm, it I must have been like, oh gosh, maybe like nine, nine years old or so, something like that. Um, mm-hmm. um, you know, I had no idea of like what a strategy game was. I just thought the cover looked cool. Um, oh, good. The cover does look cool. Cover does look cool. You know, you've got, uh, you got all these, uh, kind of like warlords and Kings gathered around a map. And I, you know, I like, one of them looks like the penguin. Yeah. Like the penguin is there as well. Uh huh. And the back, you know, said something about like, oh, it's like, it, like it's, it's in, it's in 3D. And I'm like, yeah, give this to me. I had never played a, uh, a strategy game before this. And so I had no context for it. It just read to me. It was, it was, it was confusing. I, I had no yeah. idea how to make, how to make things happen on it. You have to get to a certain age for that. Yeah. Cause I remember when I say first one I played when I was very young, like I, you know, would rent a, because I, I was Final Fantasy pilled mm-hmm. and didn't have the vocabulary to understand um, 
what like the back of the box and how it would correspond to genre. Yeah. So I remember renting like Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Yes. Like things like that. And that's a strategy game, but that uh-huh. was beyond my like hen. Right. Um, I never figured it out. I guess this is the first one I actually was of the proper age. Mm-hmm. Uh, same, uh, same Power Longer looks like Populous. It does. Sorry. It's, yeah. It, yeah. And it um it is very similar to Populous and um oh I, I mean it's Bullfrog. So they were just yeah. uh kind of uh chasing their own tail with that. Um, yeah. but yeah, no, there's <laughs> that lack of understanding is how we get no bunga's ambition from you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was playing with no bunga. Yeah. Yeah. No, no bunga, no bunga. <laughs> That's Japanese for no bunga with bunga. Yes. Um, um yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. really happy I, you found that. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you found laser. No, thanks. It, it's my, it's my white whale. Mm-hmm. It's the, it's, it's the only game that I can think of that I have that for. Mm-hmm. Now, like right now, I have every game that I know. I think I actually know for, for what that's not that exciting, but yeah. I think I know the things I know uh, now. <laughs> Congrats, um, bud. Possibly. I'm happy for you. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good object permanence going on. <laughs> a good memory of uh, titles and how they correspond to concepts. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty mm-hmm. much cleaned up that entire aisle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> The only other like digressionary thing I can think of mm-hmm. uh, recently is uh, I've been thinking about spiders a lot lately. Uh, okay, um, yeah. Oregon is having uh, Portland. I keep seeing on online and everything and and friends um, in the Pacific Northwest. We have giant house spiders. Okay, um, these are harmless spiders. You know they 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 can't hurt us. Okay, uh, but they are meaty and they're like the size of a palm. Ugh. Oh no! Like they're all they're Australia coated. Oh, you know, are you, are you looking at one? I mean, I, I didn't get to one. I'm seeing them out of context. Palm, palm size. That is upsetting. Yeah, uh, it sucks. Um, I have not seen one yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, but apparently they're everywhere. Right. Um, and yeah, I was looking online, like how to get rid of these things. What can you do? Everything uh. is no, you cannot do anything. Um, they're in your house. <laughs> And I rented a house before this. I don't, now that I own the house, I'm like, now spiders are living in it. That sucks. Uh huh. When the spiders were renting it as well, I didn't mind. Uh huh. You know, like that was my landlord's problem. Yeah. Now it feels like my problem. Um, so I'm just like, you know, in terror of this idea, I'm going to walk downstairs at some point and see a bunch of these things. Yeah. Like yeah. they congregate, they're big. I don't like spiders. I was talking about this with the band guys. Uh-huh. Uh, and Brian, who's in my band, told me a fucking wild story uh, that I wanted to run by you. Okay. Um, in their house, they, you know, once a year, they get their furnace checked out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as yeah. you do. Yeah. Um, you know, just, hey, uh, there's nothing wrong. Here's your 400 bucks. Yeah. Even just to yeah. check the efficiency. Right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, they've done that once. They're all upstairs. The guy's down there. They hear a scream. He goes down there. The guy says, I've never seen anything like this. These spiders had basically created like a colony in the furnace and used webs and blocked the furnace. Oh, wow. Oh, that'll save you money like, on filters, though. It'll say it, it, it's spider filters. <laughs> yeah. It, it is also how you get elemental powered spiders. <laughs> right? Ice ones in the, in the, uh, in the summertime and uh, fire yeah. ones in winter. Yeah. You have a chest freezer downstairs and like you're, the inspector checks it out and it's like, well, shit, they've gotten into the Freon. Like, you know, <laughs> these, these are eventually we're going to get all the different types of spiders. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like, what a scary thing that they can build a little nest that blocks your heater. Uh huh. And why doesn't that kill them? I don't know. It's probably, it's nice and dry. The um, hubris of these fuckers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's upsetting. Yeah. I don't like the idea. I that's I mean, that's like only like two steps away from the 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 cat that's exploding because it was full of spiders. Yeah. Yeah. Or Gremlins 2 shit. Well, yeah. Like it's very Gremlins 2 coded. Yeah, no. I was I was gonna say when you were when you were talking about elemental spiders, spiders famously operate on gremlin principles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Nick Let's Go? The uh, the comedy songwriter guy? Yeah, yeah. Spirit Halloween. He's, dude. His, yeah. His uh, his Gremlins three movie, which is an hour long, I haven't watched it on YouTube yet, but it's about in the future uh, them creating a Gremlin terrorist hybrid. <laughs> 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 they oh, inject no. some terrorist DNA into a Gremlin, <laughs> and Desmond, who's the son of Gizmo, has to fight him off as the Gremlin man. 
Um, yeah, Dawn of Desmond. Uh, uh, way into Dawn of Desmond. <laughs> Dawn of Desmond. That's so good. Oh God. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I don't have a lot of disc- digressionary stuff either. I did go to a hockey game earlier this week. Oh, yeah. Eh? Hey, yeah. It, yeah. I, I, I sent. I sent you a video of it. It was very bizarre. Uh, you pointed out the music in the video, uh, uh, like there was no coherence, like there was no consistency to it. Like some of it was like, uh, electronic jock jam kind of stuff that was just, you know, like, like, like pump up music, but just vaguely in between, um, you know, like as they were cleaning up the ice or whatever, they would just play songs from basically any genre. Like I was watching the, I was watching the ice crew, uh, you know, mm-hmm. skate up and down with the shovels or whatever to scrape up the, uh, to scrape up the frost and uh, like just them skating around to highwaymen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also whenever, whenever a fight started, uh, you know, mm-hmm. and the action had to be called off. They were playing icky thump by the white stripes. It That's was, it, it was literally every single time. <laughs> did did everyone i imagine i don't have a lot of catalog with hockey yeah yeah like i've never been to a hockey game um does everyone lose their mind when a fight starts oh yeah like in the, the in the crowd like i imagine that's what they're there for oh yeah you know it's kind of like football cross with nascar yes you know in that respect like not not to disparage the sport yeah, yeah. Uh, really either one I couldn't ask hard drive but the, but the idea that like people are kind of there for blood like they like it when that stuff happens yeah it, I mean it is it is so much so so I went I, I went to it was a, a Blue Jackets game they were playing the Capitals um, I went there with my brother he just got uh, cheap tickets real down near the ice so it was actually super cool um, but uh, you know there there were all kinds of like you know things that were generally accepted practices that we were unaware of and people just started doing weird things around us Mm -hmm. um nothing more strange than like the refs come out and skate around and just do like a little like routine skating all the way around um pretty much entirely for the entire crowd to boo at them and shout i hope you die (laughs) (laughs) so with little routine like what are they other than skating what are they doing are they waving are they like on Making goblin faces and stuff. And, and, like, like it's it's not like the uh, like the pikemen at a rodeo or whatever. Like you know they're, they're like they're not doing it specifically to you know like to to, to goad the crowd into hating them. But like they like by a little routine, I just mean they're just like skating in big lazy circles while a song plays. Uh, like they could have just. Do you remember like, the song? No, I do not. Uh-huh. <laughs> but there should be a, a rough hating song but yeah uh, just like you know very specifically like like written for it by some famous hockey uh written by metric <laughs> yeah <laughs> somebody <laughs> canadian metric yeah. should, should do the, 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 yeah. the, the rough hating yeah. song uh but like I, they could have just skated to their spots but like they skated around for a while as everybody booed them <laughs> that's great i i wonder I mean, that has to be like part of that has to be a tradition, but I wonder what they think of it. If they're know. like, like wrestling heels where they kind of dig it uh-huh. or they're like, I'm on, I'm just making sure the rule, I'm going to make calls on, for your team too. My job is really hard. I have to skate and I have to skate around among these guys and not get yeah. hit. Yeah. You have to skate all, I have to skate for my whole job. Mm-hmm. Like whatever you do at home, imagine if you had to skate the whole time you did it. Yeah. Yeah. Ludicrous. Uh-huh. Yeah, I and being mad at a ref is very wrestling coded. Yes, like that does not feel like something that transfers into actual sports very often. No, I mean you know it's like yeah, the ref is blind. Like I have been in a situation where like refs have been booed after a bad call, but but not never generally. Never just the presence of a ref. ref. Yeah, yeah, because you also you hoot and holler when the ref makes a call you like. Yes, yeah, like that was bullshit. Then the the ref's like, yeah, it kind of was bullshit. And you're like, hell yeah, man, let's get dinner. Yeah. And it was, you know, are you like, hungry? It was like a, it was a, home- like any bands? <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a home crowd. So you would expect like, oh, you know, people would only, would only boo when, uh, when one of the blue, blue, blue jackets got sent to the penalty box. They booed yeah. when one of the capitals got sent too. It, yeah. They just didn't want rules. Yeah. Like they, they wanted mutant league hockey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Which like I do too. Yes. You know, I I never really thought about just booing the fact that there's structure to the game. Yeah. <laughs> and using, using the refs as the like, you know, boo, I don't like that we're doing a rules game. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> Let's get a get a freestyle. Can we get, get some hockey freestyle going? Yeah. I just did not understand that the refs are part of what makes it a game. Like otherwise it's just people skating around with sticks. 
Yeah, <laughs> and fighting. <laughs> it's the Warriors, but yeah. like the Warriors, the day after tomorrow. It's the Warriors on ice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, um, yeah. Which also, again, sounds cooler though. Like yeah. I, I've, I've really warmed up to the crowd's perspective on this one. <laughs> I was into it. I don't think I would just boo somebody for doing their job, but uh-huh. like maybe I need to start. Yeah, but just like just you, you know? know, just as part of the ritual, and 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 also like whenever whenever the players came out, they also just like did the like just skated around a bunch. It wasn't just like hey, they mm. went to their posts. Like there were just there was a lot of time like dedicated to just, just 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 skating around in big circles. Yeah. Which is impressive to me. Yeah. Like yeah. I can't do it. No. The next time I go to the grocery store, I'm going to boo the checkout person because if they weren't there, it would just be a place where I could pick up food. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then they're, they're responsible for being a part portion of the system that uh-huh. I'm not super happy with. Yeah. Yeah. They get a boo. Uh-huh. Boo. Boo. Yeah. yeah. yeah, just, yeah. A, just the way to go. Bring it, just bring a little bit of hockey into everybody's and in, in everyday yeah. occurrences. Yeah. I think more, this is, this is more fights yeah. should Can begin you, by yanking somebody's shirt over their head. I do like that as a fight start. Yeah. Uh, I think it's interesting. I was reading about hockey recently uh, a little bit, and I think it's interesting that the, the referees generally countenance the fights. Yeah. I was like, why do they do that? That doesn't make any sense. That's very wrestling coded. Mm-hmm. And then found out like, no, that's within the rules. Like you can just kind of do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that players will oftentimes like kind of make eye contact with the ref and the ref will be like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like it's okay. You fight them. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, okay, we're going to fight now in the middle of the sport. And then they fight, mm-hmm. you know, that's so fucking weird. It is. Yeah. It, it is one of the weirdest sports that's ever existed. Uh huh. Why is hockey like that? <laughs> I don't know. You know, when we were talking about Super Baseball 2020, uh-huh. uh huh, and I, we were saying how pinch hitting sounds like a fake rule, uh huh. You know, like I don't want to do it. You can do it. I, I mentioned that to the band guys; they're both baseball guys, and they said the ba- and this is like game balance thing. Okay, when you do that, the person who pinch hits for you is out of the game. Hmm. They, they're they're literally a consumable. Huh. Like you get you get the choice of having your powerful pitcher be you know, good the entire game, or you can use them up to cover up for one of your guys, but then you can't use them anymore. Uh Uh-huh. What, how weird is that? That is really weird. That is some video game ass shit. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know sports. So like weirdly, baseball is the only other sport that I know where fights are like a, not a part of it, but like it is not an unknown occurrence for a batter to charge the mound. Yeah. And you also fight umpires. Yes. Or even coaches fight umpires. Yeah. Uh, You know, like football fights, I don't like, you don't see them. Like there's obviously, you know, grudges and there's like head hunting and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the whole thing's a fight. It's a big, you know, CBT nightmare. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Up on each other's balls with Spike's shoes. Yeah. Well, and cock. (laughs) (laughs) Don't forget the other one. (laughs) Don't forget me. It's not just BT. Come on. Yeah. (laughs) BT is not that. I mean, that's, that's, that's that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's its own thing. (laughs) I wonder if people who are into CBT ever have to like, but they're just into BT or CT have to like very specify, you know, like in their, the thing be like CBT minus the C please. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a little bit like we got into when we talked about uh, on the exquisite suffering, the giantess game, right? Like the, the, uh, the internecine oh, yeah, conflicts. The different, like, yeah. do, do you want the giantess to, to 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 notice you, or do you want her to not notice you? Like, like what is part you, of the on fantasy? a scale of a bacteria to like just a short man? What do you want to be? Yeah, in yeah. comparison, I, yeah. I, you know, I I think that you know, I, I think that within any with it within any special thing, uh, and you know, inc- including C or B T, um, there like that there, there are um, uh, individual. Yeah, you know, modifiers. I, I almost said deviations. I didn't want to make it like a deviance, no, but like yeah. it, it, it is yeah. just like oh, it's there's a little bit of a spin to it, right? You can and, order animal style. Yeah, you can order animal style, and I think that as those get more and more specific, that's where you find the economy for uh, the economy where most artists make their money. Yes, which is yeah. commissions, right? Yeah, I ended up putting on my profile CBT minus the T. Mm. And that's how I get what I like. <laughs> uh, no, no torture, please. <laughs> um, but good, you know, everything else is yeah. more or less okay. Okay. Yeah. Everything no. else is in bounds. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had more to say about this game. Yeah. Uh, just for abject suffering purposes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cool. It's not like it's a bad game. It's just, there's not a whole lot going on. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's anime and mech stuff and I don't know, not yeah. a lot of, not, not a lot of juice in that well for us anymore. Um, if there's cooler story stuff that we didn't get to, 
that's a little bit of a function of the show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but, um, I have no idea why video games dot Afghanistan, uh, requested this. Like they didn't put in a comment when they asked for it. So I don't know. It's just, it's maybe actually just to just, draw our attention to something neat. Maybe. Yeah. That's you know, a, that's a thing people have done in the past. Yeah. And it is definitely neat. Like, I'm glad to know about this. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it's in the, um, the big book of JRPGs from bitmap books that has the strategy RPG section. Uh, I don't know. Possibly I could go and look yeah. at it, but not on the air not right the, now. I'll have to take a look. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get through a lot of horrible dragon quest clones. Yes. If you try reading that book in order, which is how I like to read those books, mm-hmm. you know, to get, get a sense of how things are changing. Yeah. Um, the NES era always fucking knocks me out <laughs> of, of yeah. that stuff. Um, a lot and of then rewatching cards. Cron Tendo and it gets me as well. Yeah. A lot of really bad dragon quest clones going yeah. on. Chasing, ch- chasing that paper and yeah, chasing the dragon. Yeah. Uh, what should people do if they like the show? If you like the show, you can go to patreon.com slash duckvtv and support us there. Um, you get bonus episodes of this show and you get whole bonus shows as well. Um, at mm-hmm. the $5 tier, we think it is a tremendous value. Yeah. Uh, and uh, lots of shows. Mm-hmm. The, uh, you can also leave us range reviews on Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, uh, subscribe wherever you get your podcast, tell your friends, write about us in online forums, things like that. Uh, share the word. Mm-hmm. It, uh, we don't advertise. We don't. So that is how we get more people to hear about us. Yes. And more people to help uh, uh, appreciate our producer, Gwen. Yeah. Thank you, Gwen. Yeah. And if you if you don't ap- appreciate our producer, Gwen, you have to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> or you're a cop. It's in the law. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and until next time, what should they do? Uh, until next time, remember that this has been Abject Suffering, where we've just met our stretch goal to crowdfund a Professor Layton slash Saw crossover game. Hmm. It is Jigsaw season. Yeah. And that, that is a kind of puzzle. You know, where I've taken Luke and I've cut him into different pieces. <laughs> you know, can you put them together? <laughs> Professor? <laughs> Professor? <laughs> <laughs>